The biggest feedback that we get back from patients who have had robotic assisted total knee replacement is the amount of pain post-operatively after the surgery is a whole lot less. So they're extremely happy. Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Ashraf. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I work in Pantai Hospital, Kuala Lumpur. So osteoarthritis of the knee is basically wear and tear of the knee joint. The knee has got a layer of cartilage which makes the knee movement smooth. Cartilage which is on the thigh bone and on the shin bone and also on the underside of your kneecap. So there's three different layers, three different areas where you find cartilage. And this cartilage is, uh, it doesn't regenerate and it tends to wear out as you age and grow older. As it wears out, the patient starts to develop pain and discomfort, swelling, uh, etc. These symptoms actually affect the mobility, the ability of patients to do their normal activities, sports, climbing stairs, um, and this affects their daily life. Osteoarthritis of the knee is actually very, very common. The symptoms that they have is basically knee pain, swelling. They have deformity, which means the knee becomes a bit crooked or bent. It can be bent outward, so you look like a little bit like a cowboy, or it can be bent inward. Now, these are called either varus or valgus deformities of the knee. So we know that there are two sort of factors involved in, with developing osteoarthritis. One is uh, factors that you can control and one is the factors that you can't control. The ones that you can't control, most important thing that I see is uh, genetics. So if you have a family history, which means either your parents or your grandparents, usually it's down through the maternal side, who have knee pain and, and deformity, who have been diagnosed with osteoarthritis, there's a high chance you're going to get it. Okay, apart from that, in our population, in Malaysia and Asian population, the ladies seem to get it more compared to the men. Okay, those are the two major factors that you can't control. The ones that you can control are things like body weight. As you know, the more weight that you have, the more weight goes through the knee, the faster the cartilage wears up. Okay, that's number one. Number two, body fat has been found to have a link with osteoarthritis as well. Unfortunately, Obese patients seem to get osteoarthritis more compared to the thinner patients that have less fat. So total knee replacement surgery is where we, the, the doctor actually goes in and removes the cartilage within the knee. So I can't just take the cartilage off. You need to take the cartilage and some part of the bone off on both the thigh bone, the shin bone, and some of us remove some of the cartilage underneath the kneecap as well. And we replace it with uh, implant. So the implant functions as what a normal knee functions. When we do this, the pain that you have with osteoarthritis of the knee, it goes away because the articulation, which means where the joint moves, yeah, is replaced. The area which used to have damaged cartilage is replaced with the implant. So you don't have the pain of friction when you walk anymore. Usually we do total knee replacement when patients have pain that is not controlled with medications and it affects their lifestyle. Some patients have severe deformity before they have these symptoms. Um, some patients don't. So we, I also treat the patient itself. So the patient comes to tell me that they have severe knee pain and it's affecting their lifestyle. That's when I do total knee replacement for them. Marco Robotics has been in the market for a few years now. It helps the surgeon when we do our surgery. With conventional total knee replacement, we use um, jigs and guides to help us make the cuts. When we use robots, we first thing we do, we send the patient to get a scan of the knee done. So these scans are CT scans which are quite accurate. It tells us exactly what the position of the bone is and it is able to tell us in advance how much of cuts that we are needing to do during the surgery, which means pre-operative planning is very accurate with the robot. I find that when I use Marco robots, my 
incisions are a bit smaller and I make less bone cuts. So it's quite accurate. It is a very, very helpful guide. Patients who have had robotic assisted total knee replacement surgery in Pantai Hospital actually recover a whole lot faster. They are able to walk within the second day. Um, I've had some patients having both knees done, able to go home after the third and the fourth day of the surgery, which previously with conventional total knee replacement without the robot assisted ones, normally they stay on for about a week. Whilst total knee replacement has been in the market for about 50, 60 years now, satisfaction rate from all total knee replacements have been very high. Above 90% is it's proven. We are now getting data to show that robot-assisted total knee replacements are equally comparable and perhaps slightly better in terms of satisfaction rate. So I would suggest to patients, if you have the option of having your knee replacement done with a robot-assisted surgery, please opt for that. It's worth getting it done. You heal a lot faster. The surgeons do it a lot faster as well. Overall, it's very good, very good outcome.